Thank you for joining me. My name is Julie Hall and today I want to take you through exactly how I go about creating a layout using Genomi Digitizer. As you can see here I've got my Genomi Digitizer screen, I have my tabs across the top and I have my two standard ribbons here along the side. To begin to create a layout, you need to be in the Layout tab of the Toolboxes group down the left hand side. If you click in Layout to expand that view, you can then go into the Define Work Area group and this will allow you to define the size of the project that you are going to create. The project that I'm going to create is going to be 800 wide and 500 millimeters tall. I could change the color if I wished, I'm going to leave mine there. Now you'll notice that that has not changed the look of the screen or whatsoever. I can scroll in and out of my project simply by coming through and holding down the shift key and toggling with my mouse so that I can see the exact area that I'm going to say my layout's going to take up I want to come through to the main ribbon here click on show and select work area that will display that work area that we just created in my case that is 800 millimeters by 500 millimeters as I create my layout, and this layout's going to be as a cushion for my son's room, um, I don't want to be distracted by seeing the hoop. So I'm also going to come through on the ribbon and deselect the hoop option. Now, from here, it's a simple case of coming through and inserting the designs that I want to use. Once my designs inserted I can rotate that from the size and alignment um, ribbon and did that slightly the wrong way but it's all good. Um, I can also come through and move text around by clicking on the design until I get, and I'll zoom in so that you can all see what I'm talking about, until I get the ghosted out squares in the corner. And once I've got that ghosted out square, I can then use that to rotate my design. And lastly, now don't worry too much about making sure that these are all equally laid out because what I can do is actually come through, excuse me while I dismiss my son doing swimming this afternoon, I can come through highlight those three designs and using the space and align option I can center the designs vertically and space them evenly down. And that is one of the great features with the Genomi software being able to align and space different designs. I also want to come through and add in and I need my day at the construction site designs and I want to add in a forklift kind of a thing you can see that I really know the names of these different um, these different trucks now I'm gonna add the second part these were designs were initially created when the standard hoop size was the 5 by 7 
hoop sizes have changed since then and I now have a larger design option available to me with my machine so what I'm going to do is actually join these together so after I've laid them out I have the option of actually joining the design together and stitching it all as one the other reason that we like to use the layout options is simply because it makes things easier. If I want to lay out a major project, it's much easier for me to sit here and do it on the computer and make sure things are where I want them to be. And once I've then laid that out, I can then print out the templates and work from there. Um, alternatively, if you don't have software that allows you to do that, what you would be looking to do is actually come through and create, um, use multiple templates and place them on a project bit by bit. And the last one that I'm going to use is, I think, the digger. I love the digger because it's what my brother used to drive. And I always did, for each of his children, a shirt with a pink digger on it. So that they could have shirts like daddy's. Okay, now this is a nice easy design and by a nice easy design I mean there's no actual overlapping of the designs. This makes it a lot easier for us to create and as I sit here I'm thinking I'm going to keep that down to two and actually make that a little bit smaller. So if I've got that defined work area, I might now come and see if I can define that work area as being a little bit less. Now, because I want my um, hoop and my layout to treat this design as a single design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both elements of that and I can do that either by coming around and drawing a square around it or by selecting first element one, holding down the control key and selecting the second element and then coming up and choosing the group option or control G. Once I've got that I can select these three separate elements along the bottom that I'm going to use and I can also space those evenly across my project. So what I'm looking here for here is a nice long cushion that's going to add a little pop of colour to my son's room. Now at this stage I then save my design. So I come through and choose file, save design as um, and I'm going to save that as just Cameron's construction. Now we're ready to move on to the second part of creating our layout and that is actually getting it ready to hoop. We want to hoop as few designs as is possible and to do that we need to come through on the toolboxes group and select multi hooping. Now don't be afraid of the multi hooping it looks horrible not to worry though it is all good. When you're working with the multi-hooping the important things to make sure 
is that you have your machine and the hoop size that you want to use selected. Okay, I want to get this into as few hoopings as possible, so I'm going to select my 230 by 300 hoop. Now, I can't move this first hoop around. Why, I don't know, it makes no sense to me, but what I have to do is I have to add a hoop in. And I can add a hoop by either selecting Add Hoop, add a hoop to the right of selected hoop, or add a hoop upwards. Really doesn't make any great difference. Once I've added that hoop, I can then play with the first one. And for instance, what I'm going to do is come through and play with this hooping. And what I want to do is see if I can get all of that in one hooping. Now, what I know I'm not going to get is all of that plus my prepare to stop. That would be lovely, but it's just not going to happen. And I'm fiddling around and when I'm doing the precise placement, I'm placing this using my arrow keys. So there I've knocked down three designs into one. I can then come through. Let's see, I don't know. No, I'm just not going, just not quite going to get that prepare to stop and the second truck and that's okay. Then I'll add my prepare to stop And finally, that dump truck that we joined together. So you can see that that is now in one hooping. Once we're happy with those hoopings, once again, I'm going to click on Save. And that's just me wanting to make sure that I am um, saving any changes that I am making to my designs. Now what we need to do is tell Digitizer that this is how we are going to send things to the hoop and this is where we want them placed in the hoop. So it's very important to realize that Digitizer, and it's very easy to see on this one here, you can see that this design is not centered within the hoop here. We need to use that cloth set of marking or that design alignment marking that we are going to print out that will show us exactly where that design is going to be placed. So, uh, so once we have finished creating our multi-hooping layout, we are ready to come through and select Output Design. And from there, we want to make sure we're saving that again as our CAM construction and then we are going to export the design into the file type that we want to use. Now this is one that I constantly make a mistake on so please do be better than me as you create your designs here. It is natural to click on the Save Selected Now option. However, what we actually need to do is select Save All Now to select to save all um, four designs. So I'm going to select Save All Now and all of those hoopings have been saved. I can then close out of that part of my design and then as a final step I am ready 
under my multi hooping and quite honestly whether I am under um, layout or output I can come through and select print preview and what I am given is the hoop layouts for all of those designs Okay, so we have our alignment markings and we also have the order markings of which order we should be stitching those designs. We print that out on template vellum and you are ready to stitch. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial um, and that you'll give it a go yourself and create beautiful layouts with your either Genomi Digitizer, Hatch or Wilcom. Until next time, my name's Julie Hall. Have a stitching day. Bye.